Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to share with you new items from Temu and everything is for stamping or card making. And we're going to start with all the stamps that I bought. I got these stamps that has Bible verses. Look, very nice. So you can make cards or put in your journal or um, on a mini album. And it says, faith is stronger than fear, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, and much more. And here I have some inspirational phrases. Look, it's a very large die. And some of them says, when all seems lost, God says, I have it. When I am weak, he is strong, and his mercies are new every morning and a lot more then i got this one that has some bible verses like cast every care on him let us rejoice and be glad be still and know and pray without ceasing and this one are bible verses as well it says a sweet friendship refreshes the soul he has made everything beautiful in its time and a lot more. Then I also got some stamps that are inspirational for crafting. For example, this one that says wishing you a colorful birthday. Then <clears throat> you inspire me. See, uh, life is art. Leave yours in color. See, and it has a brush right here. And I got this stamp that says crafty and it has a lot of words that you can put together. See? And along with this stamp, you can find the dies, but you have to buy separate. And this word right here is the same that says crafty that you can cut in any other color and it has uh, two pieces right here for the background see so this one so you can find these two in the same link and here is a big stamp that i show you before it's a beautiful stamp that it's for crafts also i got this one that has dolls <laughs> if you saw my other hauls i love dolls and I've been buying the paper dolls, but these one are stamps and yeah, you can stamp anywhere. And if you want, you can color inside or just leave it like that. And these ones are about three and a half inches. These are smaller. And I love sewing theme and I bought two stamps. This is the first one that has uh, sewing items, see? And look, I'm going to compare with this one. I got this one too. And this one has the machine, has some fabric. The mannequin is different and it's a smaller. Then right here is the tape meter, some uh, laces, see? So it depends on how you want to use it. Here I have another stamp and this one is for um, birthdays. And as you can see, it says um, time to celebrate, then birthday, happy, wish big, hip hip hooray, it has candles. Then this one right here is for um, any time that you want to um, write to your friends, for example, thinking of you today and every day. Um, thank you for everything you do. I, I appreciate you more than words can say and things like that. And this is another stamp set and it has big words and then some sayings that can go with the words. For example, if you want to use love, you can say love from the heart. Love makes the world go around. Uh, congrats, you did it. You can add this, you did it on the side or let's celebrate. Things like that, see? And I also got this one that says wishing and wishes. And it has all these words that can go with those words. And it says sending birthday wishes. See, you can write this one sending birthday wishes right here. Um, 
wishing you the best day ever and you can mix and match see look at this super big this one has a lot of big words and it says friend enjoy happy birthday hugs bless love thanks hello and lots of little words that goes with them then this one right here for example it says find your wings and fly collect beautiful moments and let your dreams take flight it says sending a little love your way and it says birthday wishes to someone special here is another one that looks um similar have a wonderful day i'm sending well wishes your way see the beauty in every day and oh happy day and this one right here that says thankful for you and look at this it's a super big um set of dies and um this one comes with all of them for the same price i was surprised that um it looks so big see but it, it's fine because you can use this one on a card and, and you don't have to put a lot of embellishments because these words can say everything see then i bought this one that says adventure i like this one that says let's go on an adventure this is very nice if you like traveling and this is another set of dice i love ice cream i don't know why <laughs> and right here it has um the glasses and, and some word that says life is sweeter with you uh, celebrate and this one that says be my valentine maybe this was for valentine well this one is perfect for summer or valentine <laughs> and along with this set of stamps i bought this one that matches and these are dies that cuts for example can you see the size of the glass and you can cut this one and fold it and make um an ice cream too and this small glass is this one right here so it's very nice to have them both and the last stamp that i got is this one right here that is for a record and i know a lot of people who collect records and i thought that this stamp was perfect for making cards especially for them and it says totally just for you. You rock, you rock, celebrate, and you're simply the best. You're a classic, good times, see? And I also got a die that goes with it. And this one is for cutting a record. And then right here is like the envelope. And I think this small one is for these ones right here for these circles so and for example this medium one for this one right here then another item that i showed you before is this stamp positioning board and i'm going to show you very quickly how it works the base is the part that has a grid and then you're going to put a piece of paper or cardstock in there secure with some tape then you're going to put your stamp press and your stamp is going to be in the other side then you can um, add the ink and clean any excess with a paper and then um, you have to stamp on the paper and that's it you can stamp over and over on the same place i also got stamp pressure tools and this one is three and three fourths diameter and this one is three inches see so if you have a small um, stamp, you can just press like this, see, with the small one. But if you have a big stamp, maybe you can make a better pressure with a big one. See? And instead of putting the fingers, because if you put the fingers, you don't stamp uh, evenly. So this tool is very good for making a better impression. See? then i also have these two tools that you can have it at temu and this one is a mini um cutting mat 
and look it's very nice very firm and then look at the other side you can use them both sides and also this cutting knife and these two are essential tools for car making because sometimes we need to cut something and we don't have um, space. So if uh, you didn't cut well the die or something, you just put it on top and you can finish with that um, cutting knife, see? So this one is very helpful. Okay. And the last item that I'm gonna show you are these stamping foam pads. Look, it comes four in the package and they are very nice, very hard. And the size of these uh, foam pads is three by four and one quarter. And this one is three quarters of an inch. In this video, you will see the tutorial on how to use this and some of the tools. And here is my first card. I use a die from Temu that says happy birthday. And for this cardstock in white, I use an embossing folder from my stash and um, it gives this accent on the little dots on around. And yeah, I put some pearls in the corners. And for making this design of the background, I use the stamping foam and also this one right here. This is an embossing folder. And now I'm going to show you how I made that effect. For this technique, you're going to need a stamping block or something hard to press, a piece of paper that is bigger than the foam, and the embossing folder of your choice. And you're going to open and touch the part that is more rough, that will be the back of the embossing folder. That's the one that you're going to press on the foam. And you will also need a heat gun. First, you're going to heat the foam all around for one minute. When you're done with the heating, immediately place the embossing folder on top and press. Then place the block on top and press very hard. You have to give a good pressure there. And this is how it's going to look. Can you see the lines there? Now you get the ink pad and you are going to ink all the surface of the foam. When you are done, you are going to get the cardstock and put it on top and then add the block and press, but not too much, just evenly. And this is how it looks. For cleaning the foam, you just use water. I got a paper towel with water and I'm cleaning it. But if you want, you can take it to the sink and just wash it with water. Then dry it very well. Then use the heat gun and heat the foam almost one minute and it will return to its original shape. And it's ready to use it again. For the next card, as you can see right here, I made this one using the stamping foam and then I use this embossing folder from C6 see that has lots of hearts and also for this white paper I use this embossing folder that has the dots and I use a stamp from Temu and it's this one right here see this one right here and this set and it says a friend loves at all times. Proverbs 1717. See, I love it. Very, very delicate and beautiful. And I use my embossing powder from Recollections in gold. And also I use the perfect medium from Rangers. Now I'm going to show you very fast how to make this effect on the paper using the stamping foam and the embossing folder. For the next card, I'm using three different colors of ink and I'm going to heat the foam first for one minute. And after that, I'm going to use the embossing folder and I'm going to press very hard using the block so I can make an even impression. And this is how it looks. Then I applied 
um, the inks on um, the foam using the round sponges and I just added the ink and different colors and all around trying to cover the empty spaces and randomly then I'm going to continue with a third color and after that I'm going to apply the first one on top and cover all the empty spaces at the end And after I'm done, I'm going to add the paper on top and the block and I'm going to press. And you have to do it evenly and not too hard. And this is how it looks at the end. And here is another card. And this card says, oh, happy day. And for this one, I use a stamp from Temu and it's this one right here that says, oh, happy day. And I am both with a gold embossing powder and the medium and it's it looks very very nice and this one is an embossing folder that i have in my stash see and it's this one right here that says happy 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 birthday happy <laughs> lots of happy and the stamping foam and then i also use this embossing folder to emboss the paper that is in the back now I'm going to show you how I made the effect using the stamping foam. For this card, I'm using this embossing folder and you will use the back, not the front. You will use the back and the letters are going to be backwards when you see them from the outside. But don't worry because that's the part that is going to make that good impression. So you hit the foam, then press onto the foam the embossing folder use the acrylic block and then you are going to see how it looks see very nice then you are going to um, use the ink pad and ink all the surface of the foam very well make the impression on the paper using the acrylic block and don't press too much just evenly and this is the result the paper is beautiful and here I have another card and this card is similar to the other one but I made the effect that looks like these two together are continuing see the swirls see and for this uh, I use this embossing folder that I had in my stash and it looks like water. <laughs> it looks like water moving, right? And I use this guy uh, from Diamond Press. I bought a long time ago. I love these um, dies, but they are discontinued. They don't have it anymore. And this is how it looks, see? Count your blessings. And I'm going to show you now how I made the background using these two. For this card, I'm going to use this embossing folder and I'm going to use the back side because it's more rough and can make the best impression. Then I'm going to hit the foam and immediately I put the embossing folder on top. You have to put it right in the center. Use the acrylic block and press very well so you can have the design on the foam and this is how it's going to look then use the ink pad and cover the surface of the foam then add the paper add the block and just press press evenly and you will have the design i cut the paper and also a big one for the background and first i'm going to match all the lines on the um, embossing folder and I and I put washi tape on the sides to pass it through the machine after that look it looks so dimensional all the designs now I'm going to put it back again to the embossing folder and match it then I'm going to put the paper behind for the background and I'm going to center it and after it's centered I'm going to grab 
just a white paper and I'm going to take the blue paper out of it and I'm going to secure with a washi tape and pass it through the machine. After I'm done, I have the background ready and I can put the blue paper on the center and look so amazing. Then you can add a foam tape and make it dimensional. It will look fabulous. And here is another card. And for this one, I use a stamp from Temu and it's this one right here. And I use this one that says nothing is impossible with God um, because he's the key of everything and he opens all the doors. And for this background, I use these two, the stamping foam and also a die. But also I use this paper from a set of vintage papers that I got from Temu. See, it comes like a lot of papers and I'm going to put the links of all the items from Temu in the description box. And it looks very vintage and very nice, see? And I use some rhinestones to just give accents. So now I'm going to show you how I use the dye and how I made this background. We heat the foam for one minute and then we're going to place the item, in this case it's a key die and we're going to press and it's easier because the metal makes a better impression so you just have to add the ink on the surface of the foam and you have to do it all then you're going to get a paper and place it on top don't forget the acrylic block and then press and you will see the amazing result and you can do this with any dye and this is how it looks and here is another card and for this card as you can see right here the background i use a die as well see and i'm going to show you the die is this one this one i had in my stash i don't remember what i bought it and for the center i just used the same die and what i did i just put a piece of um cardstock and then i pass it through and this one didn't cut an oval but i just fuzzy cut all around so i had the perfect size for the center and then I use another die from my stash that says hello. And um, yeah, I just put it up here. And then this one is the embossing folder that I show you. I love this one. It's so delicate. <laughs> See this one from my stash. So I'm going to show you now how I made the background. See, using these two, the die and the stamping foam. First, I heat the foam for one minute, then I put the metal die on top and try to put it right in the center. Then I just put a block and then press and I have all the designs on the foam and it looks like this. Now I'm going to use the ink pad and cover all the surface of the um, foam and after I'm done I'm going to put the paper on top and the acrylic block and then press evenly and this is the result. Look beautiful. And this is the last card that I made and for the background I use this die that is a doily and the stamping foam. And for this part up here, I fail. Uh, so I cut a piece of cardstock and um, I just cut this part up here that was needed and I put it on top. And then I put a layer of white paper and also another um, piece of cardstock that I embossed with this one. And the word thanks is a die and I'm I like to make my own chipboard pieces and this is very easy to make. You just can grab any piece of a chipboard like the soft ones. 
This one, for example, is from a cereal, and I cut two pieces and also cut the uh, gold one. And after you have the three pieces, you just uh, glue one on top of each other, and the last one is the gold one. And you have a beautiful chipboard piece that you can use for your card, see? So dimensional and very sturdy. And then I decorated with these two rhinestones, and that's it. So now I'm going to show you how I made this background. For this card, I heat the foam for one minute and then I use the die and I press. But what happened is after I'm finished pressing and if you want to do it on another side, it won't work because the foam is already cold and it doesn't get the impression. I color with the ink pad and then I use the paper and the acrylic block to get the design and as you can see this is the result the first impression is very neat but the other one it's not so much so I use the same die and cut a piece for that part and glue it on top for my card but you can do one or more dice on top at the same time if you want a um, better impression. I hope these ideas inspire you to make more cards. Please let me know in the comments if you learned something new and also if you would like to see a whole process of at least one card. You can get a 30% off if you use this code on your first order at Temu. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your likes, your lovely comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.